my name is Alicia Deputy, and I've been reading Venturing with God in the Cargo by Gerald Chapel. This book is about a man and his wife and his wife's brother, and they are in Congo. And so it's basically what like exciting events happened when in their time in Congo and how they had to trust God in what what he was leading them. And and so uh, it was it's full of short stories and um it what does that mean it's full of short stories open it up and show us like see here see look so like here's about a, when they meet a witch doctor at nikiti okay here's when uh a witch doctor it's, it's about um another witch doctor who receives christ here it's about a little girl who gets blind and so each chapter is like a different short story about yeah. their adventures yeah my favorite one was well, I have two favorites <clears throat> one of them is this one mauled by a leopard okay why was that your favorite because uh i like big cats and um I like big cats, and it was. I like the exciting stories. Why don't you give us a brief overview of that short story? It's uh, this is about uh, this um, this guy who is there. So sort of they're they're at a big hunting party, and there's this one guy that goes off away from the hunt, big hunting party to try to find something, and a leopard spots him, and tries to maul him and he uh it sunk its jaws into his head <laughs> okay <laughs> and he was yelling and then all the rest of the hunting party came and helped the get the shepherd off so would you recommend this book yes why because it's fun and it's exciting and it's full of super fun stories. So what's something you learned from it? I learned um, how, uh, I learned, um, I learned to trust God more than I do now because a lot of these people here trusted in God. Like one oh, yeah. guy trusted in God and these other people were tried like said that they would kill him if, and his wife if they didn't if he didn't deny Jesus, and he said he would never deny Jesus, and so they pounded him with a twelve pound sledgehammer. Real story. Real story. And then, um, but he still lived because God wanted him to live. So. Yeah. <laughs>